This is the climax of two years of planning, six months of auditions around the world, and daily shows broadcast across 15 Arab countries. It's the live final of a competition to find the Arab world's future stars of science. The contestants, who are aged between 21 and 31, each pitched an original idea to the judges. They've spent the past month in Qatar in a purpose-built workshop where they were given the tools and coaching to develop their ideas. Each week, they were set a specific challenge in engineering, design, business and marketing. They want to really succeed, they want to make it, they want to prove themselves. Very disciplined, funny. There weren't any eliminations. Instead, each week's losers joined up with the winners. So in the final, for the $300,000 prize, there were two teams, led by the two best contestants. Bassam al Jalga and Mohamed Ursut. Bassam Jalga, a 22-year-old robotics researcher from Lebanon, has invented an automatic tuner for string instruments. Mohamed Ursud is a 26-year-old university professor from Sudan. He's come up with a way to test whether cooking oil in restaurants is safe. And it's the audience who decides who wins, using text messages or email. With the Basamul Mohammed, the crown star of science tonight, they've both already won. They've gained valuable new skills and an international audience for their ideas. But what about other young Arabs? In the Middle East, around 25% of people under 25 are out of work and they need opportunities too. It puts them under the spotlight so they can improve more and more and at the same time it gives other chance for other people to move on and to give other ideas. It gives me motive to do something for the future and to see that people can do something so I will yeah, do something better. Perhaps uh, more investment in university programs, especially in uh, perhaps the domain of engineering, finance, could help. <laughs> I'm very proud, I'm very proud, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Even though the cameras have stopped rolling on Bassam and his fellow contestants, they've got a bright future. But there are millions of other young Arabs who are still waiting for success, whether on TV or just by being given the education and encouragement they need in real life. Joanna Blundell, Al Jazeera, Doha.